Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about DUE and DUR. DUE is Drug Utilization Evaluation and DUR is Drug Utilization Review. Both of these terms are very much important in clinical pharmacy. So, now we will discuss about Drug Utilization Evaluation. It is a system of ongoing systematic criteria based evaluation of drug use that will help to ensure that medicines are used appropriately. If therapy is deemed to be inappropriate, interventions with providers or patients will be necessary to optimize drug therapy. A drug utilization evaluation is drug or disease specific and can be structured so that it will access the actual process of prescribing, dispensing or administrating a drug. DUE is same as drug utilization review. These are the goals of DUE. The goals of drug utilization evaluation is to promote optimal medication therapy and ensure that drug therapy meets current standards of care. Additional objectives may include creating guidelines for appropriate drug utilization, evaluating the effectiveness of medication therapy. Enhancing responsibility in the medicine use process, controlling medicine cost, preventing medication related problems, for example adverse drug reactions, identifying areas in which further information and education may be needed by healthcare providers. Now these are the steps of drug utilization evaluation. First, establish responsibility, then develop the scope of activities and define the objectives, then establish the criteria for review of the medicine, after that data collection, then data analysis, after that feedback to the prescriber and making a plan of action and finally the follow up. Now, we will talk about Drug Utilization Review. Drug Utilization Review is defined as an authorized, structured, ongoing review of prescribing, dispensing and use of medication. Drug Utilization Review encompasses a drug review against predetermined criteria that results in changes to drug therapy when these criteria are not met. It involves a comprehensive review of patients, prescription and medication data before, during and after dispensing to ensure appropriate medication decision making and positive patient outcomes. As a quality assurance measure, drug utilization review programs provide corrective action prescriber feedback and further evaluations. Why drug utilization review is important? Drug utilization review programs play a key role in helping managed healthcare systems understand, interpret, evaluate and improve the prescribing, administration and use of medications. Employers and health plans find drug utilization review programs valuable since the results are used to foster more efficient use of scary healthcare resources. Pharmacists play a key role in the process because of their expertise in the area of medication therapy management. Mostly we are talking about clinical pharmacists here. Now, 
Drug Utilization Review afford the managed care pharmacists the opportunity to identify trends in prescribing within the group of patients, whether by disease state such as those with asthma, diabetes or high blood pressure, or by drug-specific criteria. Pharmacists can then incorporate collaboration with prescribers and other members of the healthcare team initiate action to improve drug therapy for patients now ur is classified in three different categories that is prospective concurrent and retrospective as the term itself is self explanatory like prospective means evaluation of the patient's drug therapy before medication is dispensed to the particular patient concurrent ongoing monitoring of drug therapy during the course of treatment retrospective that is review of drug therapy after the patient has received the medication Now we will discuss in detail prospective drug utilization review. Prospective review involves evaluating a patient plan drug therapy before a medication is dispensed. This process allows the pharmacist to identify and resolve problems before the patient has received the medication. Pharmacist routine perform prospective reviews in their daily practice by assessing a prescription medication dosage and directions while reviewing patient information for possible drug interactions or duplicate therapy. When part of an online claims, prospective DUR often relies on computerized algorithm to perform key checks including drug interaction, duplications or contraindications with the patient's disease state or condition. For example, identification of drug, drug interactions are a common outcome of prospective drug utilization review. For example, a patient being treated with warfarin to prevent blood clots may be prescribed a new drug by another specialist to treat arthritis. If taken together, the patient could experience internal bleeding. Upon reviewing the patient's prescription, the pharmacist would note the potential drug interaction and contact the prescriber to alert them to the problem. Now, Concurrent DUR. Concurrent review is performed during the course of treatment and involves the ongoing monitoring of drug therapy to foster positive patient outcome. It presents pharmacists with the opportunity to alert prescriber to potential problem and intervene in areas such as drug-drug interaction, duplicate therapy, over or inter- utilization and excessive or insufficient dosing. This type of review allow th therapy for a patient to be altered if necessary. As electronic prescribing becomes more widely adopted, the concurrent DUR process may be performed by the prescriber at the time of prescription transmission to the pharmacy, allowing interventions before the drug is dispensed. For example, concurrent DUR often occurs in institutional se settings where patients often receive multiple medications. Periodic review of patient records can detect actual or potential drug interactions or duplicate therapy. It can also alert the pharmacist to the need for changes in medications such as antibiotics or the need of dosage adjustment. Based on laboratory test results, the key prescriber must then be alerted to the situation so corrective action can be taken. So what we are doing in concurrent, when the therapy is ongoing, we are just observing all the factors and then informing the prescriber for the same. Now, retrospective DUR. A retrospective DUR 
reviews drug therapy after the patient has received the medication a retrospective review aims to detect patient in prescribing dispensing or administering drugs based on current patterns of medication use prospective standards and target interventions can be developed to prevent reoccurrence of inappropriate medication use or abuse outcome of this review may aid prescribers in improving the care of the patients either individually or within a certain target population for example patients with diabetes asthma or high bp hope you understood about dur and due thank you